Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. We are working hard. We want to secure the continuous, continued growth of all the, especially the fruit trees we have planted. They are important to us. They give some food, but also some shade some wind protection against the hot wind in summer. So the irrigation system is slowly falling into place. On top there is the water tank. It gets water from the well we pump it up there, solar energy. Then it comes down into the house and then also a pipe here. This is the place that broke my head several times until I discovered that there's a crack in this fitting. And uh, then I could solve it. So what we have done now so far is to bring this 40 millimeter pipe with water from the tank on top of the hill to bring it down here. This bigger tube here is the uh, grey water system from the house. Then it was a big process for me to find out where do I want this pipe, this main supply line. In the end it is against the fence because we have several plants along the fence line, mainly some berries and then also some vines. And then we had to decide where to put these drip lines. So we have installed about 11 of them. And uh, now the next step is to put a valve in there and not here. Uh, why? Um, it's easier to actually control it when you know where the water is going. You can actually visualize it. And then also we have to put in the drip, drippers itself. That will come later today or tomorrow. So good progress after it took a long time to unroll all the rolls of uh, plastic no polyethylene uh, tubing good progress i feel that it is going somewhere at least the learning here on the potato swale, first swale we dug by hand. Um, wherever we have a passageway, we will bury it. And then also everything will be covered with this rests of the corn, the mice. So uh, we will not fall over it, but that we will only do after the drippers are in place. This is quite a neat way to seal the end of a tube. I like it. Now the strawberries will get their water. Very good.
The other job we have done was to start at the source where the water comes from and to make sure the pump works well and then distribute the water east and west on the farm. This water system is more or less in the middle of the farm and uh, to have tubes now run east-west 40 millimeters I think that's a good investment this job should still be completed here but at least now I have upgraded the size of the tubes from 32 to 40 millimeters there is a valve one for the east one for the west and uh, there's a filter and then also I can control this remotely on my telephone so I can be anywhere and I can switch this on or off this is <coughs> uphill on both sides and then uh, once it's up there it's all level on contour or downhill so that was important for me to get the water first of all to get it up and then take it on the long route towards the end of the farm here I will still put a bridge in and then the water goes up there as well we also have a new addition to the farm let's see what it is this is the fascination of the dogs we have two ducks they have no idea what to do with this yeah just leave them I received these ducks from the neighbors uh, grandfather so uh, when I asked the grandfather what about my dogs he says no the ducks are not stupid they don't run away and the dogs don't know what to do with them and should something happen with the dogs eating these ducks he will replace them I thought that's not a bad deal but still I'll take care this is some form of accommodation I must still decide where to go with this duck house and it's here next to the pond So, let's see what we can do with duck and pond. Another beautiful day. It's cool. Minimum 5, 6 degrees Celsius. Maximum 15. Some clouds. It's excellent. It gives me some time to install the irrigation system. And tweak it to where I want it to be before the heat arrives because in another 10 days looks like we will pass the 30 Celsius mark once again till then goodbye